Hello, this is my 2004 Auto Cruise Vista motorhome on a 2 litre HDI Peugeot Boxer uh, with a 5 speed manual gearbox. The vehicle's just done just under 30,000 miles. Um, we'll probably be over 30 in the next few days. I'm going to give you a walk around. Please bear in mind that there's a bit of noise in the neighbourhood at the moment, so apologies for that. Also, there's quite a, quite a busy road at times. Um, so I might have to repeat myself, but I'm going to go around the outside first, show all, all the systems, and then I guess into the cab area and then the habitation area and show you all the systems and all the extras. Uh, amongst which is 300 watts of solar on the roof and a refillable gas system. Um, right, so this is... There's a few minor cosmetic things like this blemish on the bonnet which was there when I bought it. I've had it for nine months. I've spent the last last winter in France, Spain and Portugal. It's fantastic um, little vehicle. It's only 4.8 meters in length which means you can get into a standard size car parking space if you can overhang a little bit at the rear. So I've plugged in the electric just so I can show you everything's working. Uh, so we've got the fridge vents, the decals and paintwork's a little bit faded in parts but inconsistent with age it's coming up to 15 years old but overall it's in very good condition. Electric hookup, through my water filler, um, I've got a couple of hoses for that. Uh, that's the flue for the Truma heating. There are four camping tyres, uh, Continental those ones. Yeah, the previous owner put four proper camping tyres on. Um, the first locker contains what's the connector that goes into the water filler um, a box full of toilet fluid and some hoses there's also electric hookup cable there, spare wheel uh, leveling ramps hook adapter for the continent um, now this is, um, I'm not actually selling there's, there's actually three 110 amp leisure batteries on this which is a bit overkill for most people I'm planning on taking these out and, and buying a brand new leisure battery or if you prefer uh, depending on what the buyer wanted I'll knock £100 off the price and um, you can provide your own leisure battery of your preferred brand um, so there's £500 worth of batteries so it's probably overkill for most people but I'd be willing to negotiate if you actually wanted them included uh, at the right price um, okay, habitation entrance at the rear, which is unusual. It's a Fiamma type, it's not Fiamma, but it's a, it's a similar make. Um, back box, it's called a carry all box. This is very handy, I used to keep recycling and dirty washing and all sorts in here. Um, it's lockable. Toilet cassette has been cleaned to an inch of its life. Um, I scrubbed it out with hot soapy water and then left it soaking in bleach for 24 hours and then scrubbed it out with hot soapy water again so you could eat your dinner off it. You probably wouldn't want to but... <laughs> Grey water drain there, it's just uh, like a couple of clips. That's a true man. Uh, that's a Truma heater. The other one round the corner was the round the other side was the Truma hot water boiler. Now this is the refillable gas system that I fitted nine months ago. This is 400 pounds worth of kit. Two six kilogram bottles. You see one of them showing almost full. One of them showing empty. There's an automatic changeover valve there, which displays as red when the bottle that it's switched to is emptied, and then it automatically switches to the other one and an external filler point for filling up at the LPG pump which you save a lot of money on gas rather than exchanging bottles all the time 
Um, on the roof there are, there's a 100 watt solar panel and a 200 watt solar panel so it's way I was surprised at being able to get so much solar on a vehicle this of this size but I'm rather, rather pleased at that the cab uh, seats are all in good condition the original the original um, upholstery looking for that word and put the ignition on now Now, this is one of the features of, I'm not sure you can see it very well, because there's no back window in the van, the original rear view mirror was quite redundant, but I wanted a rear view mirror, so I bought this little Android box, which does all sorts, but one, the main thing it does, if you press the dual camera option, you can't really see it very well, but that's, that's the rear view, you can see the houses, um, it's reflecting actually off the glass, but it, in the, it, that's an effect of the camera, really. Um, I can't see it with, with the eye, with the naked eye. Um, you can switch it between back cam, all cameras, both camera view, front camera, back to back camera, actually. I'll leave on as the default because I want to use it as a rear view mirror. But it's also got uh, dual dash cams. So there's a front camera here, which records everything happening at the front, and there's a rear camera as well there's also all sorts of functionality um, you can connect by Bluetooth to your phone you can broadcast over FM frequency I've got it set to 102 so if you tune the radio up to 102 I can play podcasts and things Thanks from this to the stereo um, yeah, you can hook it up to your phones. You can have, you can put apps on there. Uh, I've got camping car infos, maps.me, so I can use it as a backup um, sat nav. There's park for night on there as well. I really like that little unit. It's a bit quirky sometimes. Um, you have to you get the odd error message, and uh, about once a month it reboots itself randomly. But otherwise, it's been absolutely marvellous. Rest of the uh, cab. 29928 so that'll be I'm, I'm having a few little jobs I've done on it I'm gonna sell it with a full MOT uh, the MOT I think runs out in July but I will put a full MOT on it and have it serviced so by the time that's done it will be just over 30,000 um, there's a cigarette light socket and two USB sockets there which are on the ignition live as you can see um, both seats Swivel. It's difficult to do one handed. There we go, that's the passenger one. So a little stain on the passenger seat there, but I think that'll actually come out. Um, and in the rear, got a nice big fridge freezer there, full oven hob. And four gas burners, sink and draining board, large wardrobe, lots of storage, control panel there. Um, on the back left there from the front is the bathroom and more storage. And a large nice comfortable bench seat that pulls out really quickly into a, a large bed. But I'm going to go in the back now and show you all these things individually. There's a fly screen on the back door, so you can actually open it up and, and the back door actually hooks onto there. Um, that's the camera. I always use the plastic step, but there is a, see I'm a bit hefty so I don't want to, I'll never use these, but there's an electric step there. There's also lights, and there's an outside light which works on, on a PIR, so you can test it to come on when you approach the van in the, in the evening. Um, there's a couple of the uh, 
fablon surfaces on, on the cupboards have uh, slightly bubbled. I mean, that could be replaced, but again, it's only cosmetic and it's never bothered me. It's the same with that one. There's a large overhead locker there. You can see it's just bubbled. Not sure you can see in there. There's a light in there as well. So, from the left as we come in, there's the solar remote meter. That's the MT50 remote meter. Large wardrobe with a hanging rail. That's the solar charge controller, a tracer. Um, I've had that one, one of these before, and it's been very good. This is to isolate the um, panels from the regulator. That's just in case you need to dis disconnect the batteries because the batteries should always be connected before the panels. Because you don't want solar panels putting power into this with it nowhere. Uh, with it nowhere to go. That's an outside one to cover for the fridge. Uh, this is a large table, which, sorry if the camera wobbles about here a bit. There we go. That's the original table from the vehicle. I won't put it, I won't put it, oh yes I will, I'll put it away. As you can see it takes seconds to, to take out the stowaway. Um, hot and cold run of water. There's storage under the sink. There's a cutlery tray with these um, mats in. They're supposed to stop rattles and things. Well, there's a water pump in here, and that's the mains power for the hot water boiler. There's a Truma water boiler under the cooker, and that heats. I think it's seven or ten. Oh, there we go. Ten liters of water from either gas or electricity uh, in about 15-20 minutes to, uh, to a full tank. The oven is a spin flow, so two, two trays in the oven, grill and pan. There's one minor thing with the hinge on this, it's hinges missing. I'm sure that would be quite easy to replace but um, it's never bothered me, it just needs propping up if you parts at a certain angle. There's a heat shield, heat shield there, um, and four burners. Um, large cupboards. Some of these were very tall, so I put dividers in, but they could easily be removed if you preferred. And again, some of this more of it as anti-slip matting. Um, some of the cupboards I've left tall because you've got things like cereal boxes and whatnot. This is the status aerial. Um, there's a little switch on this that turns it on. Oh, that's the other one. There we go. And you basically loosen this off and push the aerial up and you can twist it round and to your preferred direction. I don't watch television, so um, that's that. There's a control panel, mains breakers, um, mains charger because there's so much solar I hardly ever have this switched on. A battery, you can run the internal systems off the internal of the car battery or off the, the um, sorry, off the engine battery which is set to car or the van, the, the leisure batteries, it should be as a default set to, to van. Pump internal, that's the water pump that we've just run on the sink. You can connect a water, you can connect um, a bucket or a, a, next, a container and using one of the hoses um, you, can, you can run a pump and fill, fill the water externally from a pump from a, a container. Um, didn't explain that very well, but when, when we discuss it I'll explain it properly. Test the batteries, that's the whichever battery it's set to. There we go, that's the engine battery, that's the leisure batteries are always absolutely full because of the solar. Uh, water level, 
and the breakers for the 12 volt system. I've also put in an extra two USB sockets and a cigarette lighter socket for running laptop and phone chargers and things. This is the uh, hot water, the heating for, sorry, yeah, the hot water switch for running heating water on gas. You can hear the solenoid go in and there we go. If, um, right, basically. So if you've not got an electric hookup and therefore switching this on won't do very much, then you need to heat your water on using the gas control. The internal dial is the temperature. The external dial is just the on and off switch. When you switch it on, you hear the solenoid clicking about 20 times and then the little green light will go on. Occasionally, if it's very windy, uh, you'll get a red light to come on. Or if the gas is run out or something, there, there'll be a red light come on. Switch it off and switch it on again. And it'll reignite right, unless the gas is run out. So again, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to heat up the 10 litres of water. There's a large roof light, which is great. You can actually, I'll show you the solar panels. I'll need to stand, take your shoes off and stand on the cushions. All right, that's the 200 watt panel. And over there is a 100 watt panel. It's actually handy having a roof light that you can put your head up out of and mop the panels from time to time. Um, Some foam uh, draft proofing strips. This is just a draft proofing strip to stop this rattling. Um, it's obviously deteriorated all the time, over time, so that will be sorted. Lighting, lots of LED lighting. These are LEDs. That's an LED. These ones are. Not LEDs. Oh, this one's a, one of these switches controls this. Oh, which one it is it? It does work. Look at that one. Uh, more LEDs. This is a. There's one mains um, light, which is quite nifty. And this is the heating system. There's no electric heating system, it's gas only. So this is the Truma, Trumatic. Now the outer switch, the grey the gray dial, the grey ring, um, the upper two settings are blowing cold, so it's just a fan basically, slow and fast. The lower two are the heating, now I always turn it up right to the max, as you would with a, any kind of gas appliance, a cooker or a hob or whatever, just turn it right to the max and turn it to number two. And it, you should hear it kick in. You can hear the fan going. It takes about 10 seconds just to light up. There it is. And I can hear the gas burning now. And then we can turn it down to whichever sound it wants. It's actually turned off now because it's quite a hot day. So it must be thermostatically controlled somehow. I don't know how it works really, but it works very well. Um, under, under the bench seat, I'll just put my shoes back on. Under the bench seat is the... That's the, that's the heating system and there are vents coming out in various places. The bench seat is very comfortable. These end pieces, if you want to put the bed up these end pieces pop off. Oops. And the bed just pulls out like that, it's very quick. Now that's a, a large single or a small double. Excuse me, or is that? It's, that's not sufficient. You can pull it out further. 
and that's a four foot six bed. There are two infill cushions for the back there, up in that cupboard. I'll just put this down while I put the bed back up. Okay, there we go. Um, it's a minor problem with this, uh, well, it's just a slight tear. There's uh, only cosmetic, it works perfectly fine. Windows all open. Bathroom. There's another cigarette lighter socket and USB, twin USB sockets there. There's a Vanity unit, 12 volt lighting, shower head, a drop down sink with this is <laughs> this is stained, it's not dirty, it's uh, I've tried to clear it off, it's just marked. Hot and cold running water in the sink, and you just turn the top back, tip it up to put it away. Uh, cassette toilet, flushing cassette toilet, electric flush. Um, there's a slight marking, there's a slight crack there, not crack, but uh, a, a chip out of it. But it's actually waterproof. Uh, I've not had any problem with that. But I have. I'm going to reseal all this anyway in the next few days. Carbon monoxide alarm, of course. I'm sure I've forgotten loads of things. Oh yeah, documents. Okay, um, there was partial service history um, for the earlier years of 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The previous owner was a mechanic, so did all his own servicing, so we haven't got any um, after that. He worked for Toyota. Um, had the cam belt done last August when I bought the vehicle. There's a logbook, uh, MOT certificate, but well, as I said I will be putting a full MOT on this vehicle before handing it over and I will also do a, a service, I'll get a service done on it and provide the uh, receipts for that. The, the curtains around the cab area, as you can see the curtain rail there goes all the way around. Uh, let's just have one more walk around and see if I can identify anything that I've missed. Oh, yes. There are two full sets of keys. I'll show you the locks. Because I couldn't quite work out the two side locker uh, mechanisms when I bought the vehicle. So. This this is protruding. You can't you can't lock it. It's just open at the moment when it's when the the button's out. But if I turn it 180 degrees and push it in, that's locked. And that's it. I don't know why I got confused by it in the first place. Um, underneath. Under the chassis, there are the fresh water tank is 100 lit, no 70 liters, sorry, um, and the f the waste, the grey water tank is, I believe, 56 liters or somewhere in that region. If I've forgotten anything, which I'm sure there'll be numerous things. Um, 
I'll mention it on the listing. It'll be going on eBay as well as Facebook and a few other places. So if you like what you see, uh, get in touch and we'll and come and see the vehicle. Thanks for looking. If you've got this far, 25 minutes. Bye bye.